Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I want to look at a fragrance from the house of Xenia, one of my favorite houses. And this one is called a Peruvian Ambrette. This is an official carded sample of Peruvian Ambrette. It's a 1.5 ml sample. And you know, that's not a lot of juice, but it doesn't take a lot of juice to uh, test this one out. I've been wearing this one now. This is my second week of wearing it. I've been wearing it mostly at work and uh, I have a pretty good idea of what I'm working with at this point. Peruvian and Brett came out in 2014, classified as a woody aromatic, and the notes are pretty uh, simple here. Ambrette, Oris, Gaiac wood, and Cashmere wood. And the base notes, it says Iris. Iris actually is from the same family as Oris, so that would make sense. Uh, so the first thing you need to know about this fragrance, you know, what is Ambrette? You know, it's not a note that uh, is used a lot in men's fragrances, uh, but I have experienced it. A little bit before I believe Gucci Sport used Ambrette, and I remember testing that one out a while back. But when I researched Ambrette, it is a seed with a sweet musky scent with shades of nuts. A natural musk scent, not of animalic origin. So it's supposed to be a muskiness, but not a really animalic, like civet type musk. It's from an, a um, plant like source, a seed. Um, but uh, I'm not really sure if I get like a true ambrette smell. I'm not really sure what ambrette smells like, but this isn't quite what I would imagine it to smell like because I don't really get like a true muskiness here or anything like that. Um, but uh, for starters, I do get a sweetness here. It could be like an ambery or an amber vanillic type sweetness. I do definitely get like a white floral quality here. The white floral seems to be similar to that of Iris, like at the Prada fragrances. It uses like a soapy white floral Iris. Um, I've not come across any other reviewers that have made that comparison. I think that some people have compared it to Dior Ohm's Iris, which I don't get because I don't think it has like the uh, lipstick or makeup type Iris accord here. To me, it's more like a soapy Iris. And uh, definitely uh, like a guaiac wood. Because you do get like an exotic, slightly incense -y woodiness here. So kind of sweet, like vanilla, uh, a bit floral with the iris, and then sort of like an exotic, slightly incense -y woodiness as well. Uh, it would be almost like if Prada would come out with their own exclusive one. You know, they're so used to putting out these uh, clean white floral fragrances, but maybe they wanted to do something a little bit more exotic and more... Uh, Mysterious and add like a like a incense uh, exotic woodiness to it. That's kind of like what this might smell like if Prada would ever go in that direction. But as far as other fragrances that I've smelled similar to this one, uh, from the designer end, John Varvato's Platinum Edition kind of reminds me of this one a little bit. I believe it has myrtle mixed with uh, sort of like a like an oud type thing going on there with some sweetness with a vanilla tone similar to this so if you like platinum edition i think you would probably like peruvian ambrette and another fragrance from the house of bond number no. nine that uh, some people really enjoy would be uh bond number no. nine's uh silver factory i believe that one's discontinued but that one has iris in it with some incense as well so if you liked uh bond number no. nine's Silver Factory or John Varvato's Platinum Edition. This one, I think, is definitely right up your alley. So let's get into some, some final scores on this one. The smell, I'm going to say 7.5 out of 10. It's a pleasant smell, slightly mysterious, exotic, but also sort of appealing as well. I've been wearing this to work. Very light on the trigger because I don't think this is the kind of fragrance that you want to overdo it with, especially in a hospital setting. Uh, protection longevity, I'll say four to six hours. Starts off strong. After the five, six hour mark, it gets pretty close to the skin. So I'll say eight out of ten for that. Versatility, six out of ten. I think this one is mostly for cooler uh, fall, winter, maybe early spring weather. So we'll say uh, maybe six out of ten. Probably better for uh, maybe like uh, intimate settings like date nights and stuff. If you have a date that you know likes exotic fragrances. Uniqueness, I'll say 8 out of 10, even though it reminds me of some other uh, fragrances, you know, um, I guess the Ambrette Seed maybe gives it a slightly unique edge, because you don't find that note very often in men's fragrances. 
uh, price point. Uh, it's hard to say because this is discontinued, so you're not going to be able to just go to the Zenu website or uh, discounter website and pick up a bottle. You're going to have to go to eBay and see what's available there, either, either as a de uh, decant or perhaps um, partial bottle. Uh, but um, you could expect to pay about $200 or more for a bottle. So overall for me, 7 out of 10. I would probably say stick with the Platinum Edition unless you're uh, really into this type of fragrance, uh, which you know I thought was great, but not something that I really need to have in my collection. So that's my thoughts. A nice, exotic, sort of iris, sort of a dirty iris type fragrance. Incensey and uh, slightly musky in the base. So thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.